Here's your lunch. Thank you. What is this? Hurry now, you don't want to be late for school. Mom, you've kissed that many people? Excuse me? Gross. Hey, Bestie. Hey. No way. You haven't had your first kiss yet? What are you talking about? I've definitely had my first kiss. Come on, it's me. You can tell me the truth. I am telling the truth. I've kissed like six guys. Okay. I believe you. I'm telling the truth. Hey, baby. Babe. Fifteen? Ooh, well, as long as they were before he met me, I guess. Good morning, baby. I got you flowers. You're so sweet. Thank you. Anything for you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'll see you later, okay? Love you. Bestie, I really need to talk to you about something. You see, my boyfriend... No way. Bessie, you've had your first kiss? I already told you. I had my first kiss a long time ago. I've kissed tons of guys. Why do you keep lying to me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Isn't it? Hey, do you know where Brianna is? She's been avoiding me all day. No clue. Bessie, could you be honest with me for once? Did you kiss my boyfriend? Because I saw that your kiss count went up and his kiss count went up. First of all, how do you know our kiss counts? And no, I didn't kiss your boyfriend. I don't even like men. That's why I've been lying, saying I've kissed a bunch of guys. I was nervous about coming out and I didn't want to tell you this way. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to know who my boyfriend cheated on me with. Good morning, mom. I spy with my little eye my mom. Here, take your vision blocking glasses. I spy with my little eye these vision blocking glasses. Wear them as much as you can so you don't have to say I spy all the time. I barely take mine off. I spy with my little eye the ground. I spy with my little eye the bush. I spy with my little eye the bus. Class, can anyone tell me why the earth is flat? My eyes are so itchy. My glasses, where'd they go? Timmy, say I spy. I spy with... I spy with my little eye, a beautiful girl named Brianna. Chad, is that you? Of course it's me. Take off your glasses so I can see your beautiful eyes. I... I don't know. It's not really safe. Come on, Brianna. I just want to see your eyes. You know you can trust me. Okay. Give me those. Take off your glasses so I can see your beautiful eyes. I don't know. It's not really safe. Come on, Brianna. I just want to see your eyes. You know you can trust me. Okay. Give me those. I spy with my little eye, Chad. Give me back my glasses. No way. I lost mine. Catch me if you can. I spy with my little eye, the wall. I spy with my little eye, Chad. I spy with my little eye, my vision blocking glasses. Hey, give them back. No, they're mine. And if you have your eyes open, you need to say I spy. I spy with my little... Chad? Chad? Attention everyone. For population control, you may no longer wear your vision blocking glasses or keep your eyes closed for an extended period of time. Anyone who breaks these rules will be killed. I spy with my little eye... <gasps> no! What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate, Jared, he's 80% nice and 20% naughty, but that still means he's gonna be on the naughty list. He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think he's gonna propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jared. <sighs> <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said, if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? I have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. I think my dad's just afraid that you're going to turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't. And I'm going to get a 100% score just for you. Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter... Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter. And I'm going to be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? <laughs> Nighty-night. Holly, wake up. 
Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. Now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da! Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm gonna make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's gonna know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? No, his score went down again. It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. Jared, look, here comes another person. Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared, we were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you, he doesn't care anymore. <laughs> now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty and we can go to your place and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know you're gonna make your nice score go down. It's going down a lot more if you okay, don't- Okay, wait. I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Holly! Holly, come on, wake up! I don't like this, come on! Oh no, I think the blizzard killed her. I think the blizzard killed her. No, how long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't gonna be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute, aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There, that should have helped her. Oh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared? Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. Jared? Holly. You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Ah, uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... No way! Looks like baby Crystal is taken up after me. The itsy bitsy spider. Stop! Where did you learn to sing? I don't know. I just saw it on the TV. Honey, you must remember, singing is deadly. The TV is trying to trick you. You must never sing again. Okay, I won't. Going to class? Yeah. And you think you can go without wearing earplugs? Come on. Do I have to wear them? Yes. You never know when someone could start singing. These are lifesavers. Hey, take those out of your ears. Yeah, take them out. My mom says I'm not supposed to take these off. Can I just try them on? Yeah, for a second. Thank you. Yeah, these are trash. Hey! Oh, relax. You'll be fine without them. Bria, I need to see you after class, please. Miss Claremont, if this is about my grade, I... No, dear. This isn't about your grade. What are you doing? Mary had a little Miss Claremont, lamb. please stop singing. Little lamb, little lamb, Mary... Little lamb. Stop. Mary had a little... Ugh. Oh my gosh, what did you do to Miss Claremont? She was trying to kill me. What? what? She would never do that. I am calling the police. Honey, what's the matter? It was awful. Someone took my earplugs and then my teacher tried to kill me. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Well, goodbye, baby. Why are you singing? Hush, little baby. Mama's gonna buy you a mopping. <gasps> Honey? Are you okay? I'm- I'm so sorry. Why would you do that? I- I don't know. 
It was like something was controlling me. Bria? No, no, stop. Stay with me. Bria, wake up. Honey, please wake up. Mom? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my ears, they hurt. Oh, so bad. It's gonna be okay. Let me just look. I see something. What? There is something in your ear. I'm gonna take it out. No, no, don't. Bria? I have to. It's probably what's causing you the pain. Don't move. Is it out? I got it. This is what was inside of your ear. I think there's one in my ear, too. You need to take it out. Fine. Just come here. Oh, I got it. Thank goodness. I need to test something. Put those on and sing. No, Mom, I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, honey. Sing. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Are you okay? I'm fine. It was the chip killing people all along. But who would have put it in all of our ears? Open up. I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No thanks. Ugh. Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. There, he's not going anywhere. Ugh. Hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I, I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you, are you coming into the tree where dead men called out for his love to flee? Strange. Oh, wait, stop. I'll tell you. I work for a secret government organization. We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it. By making singing lethal, it was a way for us to control the public. This is horrible. We have to tell everyone. Go ahead, honey. We're live. We have all been lied to. The government has been putting these in our ears. That's why singing kills us. But if you take them out, singing will no longer kill anyone and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. Harry had a little lamb. And will you stop singing? Where did you learn to sing? I don't know, I just heard it on the TV. You only sing when you want to kill someone. They play that on the TV because they want you to sing, but you can't, okay? Okay. Honey, are you off to school now? Yeah, I am. You forgot to wear your earplugs. You must always keep them on while you're in public. Do I have to wear them? It's for your protection. You never know when someone could start singing. Hey, girl. Hey. Ouch. Now I got your attention. What? Keep out those earplugs. I want to talk to you. My mom makes me wear them. She says you never know when someone could start singing. Come on, hand them over. We're at school. No one would start singing here. Ring around the rosies, a pocket full of... Help! Oh. Ring around the rosies, a pocket full of... Help! Oh. Rosies, ashes. Here's your earplugs back. I was wrong. You might actually need them. I saw someone die. Was it just him or were there others? There were three others who didn't cover their ears in time. Hey, they canceled school for the day. Go home and get some rest. Mom, I'm home. Mary had a little lamb. Emily, little stop lamb, singing. Little lamb. Emily, Mary why are you singing? I told you not to. It kills people. Lamb, its fleece was white. Mom! Mom, there's something wrong with Emily. She won't stop singing. She's going to kill someone. Mary had a little lamb. Why are you singing? Little lamb. I need to get out of here. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Rock, goodbye, babe. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Rock, goodbye, baby. Why is everyone singing? Attention all citizens. Singing has now become contagious. You must wear earplugs at all times to stop the spread. Mary had a little lamb. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetops. Ashes, ashes. Everyone's singing. Hey, take out your earplugs. What? It's just me and you. It's just us? Yes. Okay. Ring around the rosies. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh, man! Ha. Rock, beat, scissors. Round two? Rock, paper, scissors! Rock, wins. Ah. Rock, paper... No, 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 no! What? I'm not playing the third round. 
Come on, one of us will win a million dollars. Yeah, but one of us will die. That's a risk I'm willing to take. I'm not. Hello? The results came in. I have cancer. What? Treatment's going to be very expensive. And I'm too sick to work. We're going to lose our house soon. I don't know how we'll live. Mom, don't worry about a thing. I'll get us all the money we need. Derek, let's play rock, paper, scissors. If we tie the first two rounds, I'll play the third round with you. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors. scissors. I win. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. Paper beats rock. Last round. Rock, rock paper, rock, rock, paper, scissors. scissors. paper. We'll have to play again. How about we split the money? No way. I'm not splitting the money. I want the million all for myself. Derek, I don't want to die, and I don't want to see you die. I'm not splitting. Rock, paper, scissors. There's no way. Scissors beats paper. You cheated. You're a cheater. I didn't cheat. Come with me, Derek. We're taking you to be executed. Oh, she didn't win fairly. She cheated. Did you hear? She killed Derek for a million dollars. I didn't kill Derek. We played a game we both agreed to, and I won. There she is. I've been looking for you everywhere. Ma'am, is everything okay? I'm Derek's mother. I want to avenge my son. We're playing rock, paper, scissors till the third round. Okay, I'll play with you. Rock, paper... paper. Wait, stop the game! You know what to say. Mm-hmm. I wanna be a... Say doctor. Sugar baby! What? No! Where did you learn? Why would you say that? Sissy told me to say it. <gasps> Elizabeth! It was just a joke. But, but, she said that I will make a lot of money. Is that true, Mommy? Uh, I mean, yes, but no! No, you will not be doing that. Hey, look, it's Sugar Baby Girl. I was six, okay? Cut me some slack. Well, I heard Ashley's rich dad is single now. You guys want to hook up? <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. Stay away from my dad, creep. I don't care about your dad, Ashley. People are just spreading rumors about me. Besides, your dad's kind of, um, a jerk. No offense. At least my dad didn't leave me. What did you just say? You heard me. Do you know why you're here? Because I punched Ashley in the face. Yes, but I gotta say, she deserved it. Wait, Principal Richards, are you being for real? Wait, call me Steven. Call me Steven. Uh, okay. So, wait, you're not gonna tell my mom? Nah, I won't tell her a thing. That is, as long as you don't tell her about this. Consider it my little gift to you. Why are you giving me this? I saw your future, sweetheart. Sir... Steven. Steven, I was tricked into making that my future. Wait, so you don't want to be a sugar baby? No, thank you. Ah, uh, well, here's my personal number, in case you change your mind. Guys, bad news. I think my future's coming through. Wait, where's Mom? She's at the store. What is all that? I just found all these unpaid bills. Mom's been going bankrupt paying for my college, and we're gonna lose the house. Wait, what? I have to drop out. But your dream is to become a doctor. Guess that dream's over. No, Lizzie, don't, okay? I can get the money. How? By making my future come true. What is that? This is the phone number to my principal, Principal Richards. Your principal's trying to be your sugar daddy? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds bad, but hypothetically, yes. Hand that over! No, give that to me, okay? This is our only ticket to making sure that you get to become the doctor of your dreams and that we don't lose this house. This is crazy. Look, you're the one that tricked me into getting this future in the first place. I am just trying to put it to some use. I don't like this. Shut up. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, Steven. It's me. Oh, hey, sweetie. Did you change your mind? Uh, yeah, I did. Great, because I wanted to see if you would go somewhere with me. Wait, how much are all the bills? Uh, like around $5,000. Okay, I will do it if you pay me $5,000. Uh, yeah, that works for me. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Oh my God. Girls? I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Girls, where are you? You have to cover for me while I go on that date. No, you have to. I'm not gonna- There you are. Do you girls want some dinner? Actually, I was gonna go out with a friend tonight. Oh, really? Is that okay? Well, I don't know. Elizabeth, what do you think? Should I let her go? It is a school night. Ugh, but I think she'll be fine. Be back no later than 10. Okay, I will. Thanks, Mom. 
You owe me big time. I don't like this. Relax, this is a one-time thing. I'm gonna get the money, say I don't feel good, he'll have to take me home, then I'll never talk to him again. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Got your money right here. I'm excited for tonight. Um, there's only $20 in here. Darn, I brought the wrong envelope. Mind if I go back home? Uh, sure. Just wait right here, I'll be right back. Warning wanted kidnapper on loose. That's him. Signal lost. No, come on, please. This can't be happening. Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took so long. Hey, what's the matter? Why did you lock that door? I didn't lock the door. It probably just got stuck. Here, I got you this. What is that? It's your money. 5k exact. No, I don't want the money anymore. Please, I just want to go home. Relax. Everything's okay. Why is there no signal down here? This house has horrible reception, but I could fix it. Let me see your phone. Wait, no. Well, how about I just fix some of these wires down here and, hey, that should do it. <sighs> Shit. You, uh, weren't supposed to see that. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry. You're safe here with me, sweetheart. This is your new home now. <sighs> 911, what's your emergency? Yes, hi. I need help. I... Hello? Signal lost. No. You really shouldn't have done that. Uh, let me go! Why are you doing this? The day you came to my school, I fell in love with you. You remind me of my wife. What? Yes, I haven't been the same since she passed. And unfortunately, the last girl I brought here escaped, so I think the police are after me. But this basement's pretty hidden, so I think we'll be safe. Well, I'm actually kind of thirsty, so... Do you think you could get me some water? Of course. Anything for you. I'll be right back. Maria! Elizabeth? How did you- Shh! Mom put a tracker in your phone case. Oh, I knew this guy was bad news. Don't worry, the cops are on their way. What do you think you're doing? Come here. Uh, eat peppers for you, creep! Oh, my eyes! Your principal is now in custody, okay? Don't you ever do anything like that again! I know, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you save the house. I know, sweetheart. But we are suing that principal. I really hope we win the lawsuit. I think it's safe to say we're gonna win. Big time. <laughs> Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now. Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. All right, I choose heads then. No, it's tails. Uh, a redo? <sighs> Just the granola bar? Yes. How much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. <sighs> Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! <sighs> um, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at. So that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait. Let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Ooh, another day, another charge. <clears throat> what? Mom, I need to borrow your charger. No, I'm using it. I'm only at 10%. I'm going to die. Here, hurry up. <clears throat> it's not working. Let's try this. That's the emergency charger. This is an emergency. <clears throat> it didn't work. There must be something wrong with my charging port. Did I hear something wrong with the charging port? Hold still. Hold what? <clears throat> What happened? 
You made it worse. I'm at 2% now. There's one more thing we can try. Come with me. Wait. So, you need more charge? Yeah, my dad says you know what to do. <laughs> I have just the thing. Dad, this guy seems sketchy. Put this to your charging port, and whatever you do, don't move. Wait, why can't I move? No question, just do it. I am tired of getting electrocuted. Look at your energy. 200%? But that's not even possible. I have so much energy. I feel so great. My energy hasn't went down all day. Not even 1%. That's great, but maybe you should take a break, Brianna. Not a chance. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I feel great. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I really do. My energy is at its max, and I am loving it. Woo! <laughs> your test scores are in. Your intelligence level will now appear above your head. What does mine say? You got a six. Yes! Wait, what does mine say? You got a two. What? I have been refreshing Instagram for the past five minutes. Why will nothing load? That's because I unplugged the internet. You need to read more. Mom, reading isn't going to make my number go up. You listen to me. You're an embarrassment to this whole family. So you get that number up by the end of the month or you're out of here. <laughs> Crystal, what is up with you? Here, take this, okay? What is this? It stimulates the neurons in your brain, which causes a chemical reaction, which allows you to process information at a Okay, hold on. English, please. Look, basically, it makes you super smart. This is a prank, isn't it? Look, I know I'm not that smart, but I'm also not that dumb either, so... Crystal, I made my intelligence level go up. See? Wait, how did you do that? I'm telling you, it's the pill. Look, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but just take it. Jamie, wait. I have to go. Hey, they're handing out graduation gowns right now. I don't think she's gonna need one of those, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I swear this pill better freaking work. Crystal? Crystal? Are you still with us? <laughs> What's the answer to number two? Well, it's simple math, really. You take the numerator, divide it by the denominator, multiply that times 2, which will give you 81, of course, and then you take the square root, which will give you 9. How'd she do that? What the hell? Correct, but Crystal, what? your number went up. How'd you solve that equation so fast? That was a warm-up question. Any fifth grader could have solved it. Really? Because you seem pretty impressed by it. Yeah, only because you were so dumb before. How did you make your intelligence level go up, though? You don't like me, do you? Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, but why is that? I mean, we were such good friends until high school. It's because of Jamie, isn't it? She intimidates you? She does not! She does. Which explains why you never make direct eye contact with her. You feel like she replaced you as my best friend. You a psychologist all of a sudden? Come on, Viv, let's go. And you two are dating now, aren't you? What? How do you know? The way that he's protective over you, it indicates that he cares about your feelings. And you two also smell very similar, which tells me that you're probably- Watch it, Crystal! Mind your own business. How the hell did I know all that? Guess who got an A on every test today? Mom? Guess she's not home yet. Ah. Oh. Ow. Oh. Hello? Hey, there's something I have to tell you about the pills. Is it that they have side effects? Because I think I'm feeling them right now. Oh no. Um, just... Oh. Just hang on. I'll be right there. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh, Crystal, here, you have to take this. Are you feeling all right now? Yeah, much better. Good, but about the pills, if you stop taking them, you... You what? You... you die. Jamie, are you kidding me right now? How could you not tell me about this? I... I didn't find out until yesterday. Where are those pills from? I'm gonna be in so much trouble. They're from a lab that my sister works at. I sort of stole them. This is 30 days worth. So about a month. Jamie, what happens when these run out? Uh... Ready for the ghoul school? Yes, and I think my creature name is about to appear, but I already know it's gonna say vampire. Actually, darling... Dad, that's the bus. I gotta go. I don't wanna be late. Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning about the rarest type of creature. Does anyone know what it is? Isn't the rarest one a mermaid? No, dear. It's a fairy. But aren't fairies extinct? 
No, legend says there's only two left in the whole world. That is why all creatures here must get a DNA check. What would happen if one of the students here was a fairy? They would be taken for experimentation, but we've never found a fairy before. <laughs> Next in line. Hmm, your facial structure is very unique. Okay, open for the DNA test. We need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my things weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. No, I adopted you. Well, apparently fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? Darling, look! <gasps> what do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA test. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See? That wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Julia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well, attention, students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. Uh, don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. I'm sorry, dear. I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in this school. Wait! Oh. Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna? No. Please work. Darling, are you alright? Yes, thank you. Of course, darling. I will always protect you. I'm sorry I'm not your real dad. Even though we might not be related by blood, you're always gonna be my dad. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you so much, Luna. I love you too. Well, I think it's time we leave this place. I know somewhere safe we can hide away and live. Red alert! What do we do? Well, we both have wings. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Come on, let's go. Only one? He's so innocent. I love him. Two at once? It's okay. It's okay. I'm not judging. Not judging. Three at once? When we finally meet, him and I are gonna have to have a little chat about this one. My soulmate's body count is six. I mean, it's not that bad. It could be worse. That's horrible. Absolutely crazy. Is that crazy? How much is your soulmate's body count? Zero. Um, zero? Calm down, guys. It's 2021. There's nothing wrong with being a little promiscuous. Their body count isn't how many they've been with. It's how many they've killed. What? I can't believe it. I can't believe my soulmate is a killer. Calm down. Just breathe. You'll probably never even have to meet him. You know, it's honestly offensive. 
that the universe thinks I belong with somebody like that. Let's get our mind off things. Let's watch TV. Breaking news. The Cheerios Bandit is on the loose. What kind of name is that? The Cheerios Bandit? He already has over 10 bodies. Could that be him? Your soulmate? I, I need some fresh air. I think I'm gonna throw up. There's no way. There's no way the Cheerios Bandit could be my soulmate. Who are you? Come with me. It's time for the big reveal. What did I get? You got gold. Gold? <gasps> I knew it. I was born for fame. Okay, show me yours. What did I get? You got gold too. Oh my god, we are so lucky. Girl, did you hear they're looking for a girl with a pink mark? They say she's the long lost princess. What? <laughs> no way. The prince is also given a pink mark. There's only two people within the whole kingdom with a pink mark. You know, gold never really suit me, but wearing a prince sure will. Hello, sir. I'm here to see the prince. Nobody sees the prince. Yeah, okay. Oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry. Please come with me right away. Of course. You're so beautiful, just as I expected. Ah! I mean, me too. You're, you're handsome, I mean, not beautiful. Well, you are beautiful, but... <laughs> I get what you mean. Well, you better get home and rest. Our wedding's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I now pronounce you Prince and Prince. Wait, she's a liar. Emily? Who's that? That's Emily. She's my best friend. Her mark is fake. She's not the real princess. I am. But Emily, your mark was gold. I covered it because I was scared of being royalty. But I can't sit back and watch you lie any longer. Is, is this true? Both of you are coming with me till we figure this out. No. Wait. Happy birthday. Hope you like your gift. Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic. Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out. Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I I just said no. Oh, come on, just let me go. Okay, sure, honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care, I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. <laughs> Hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break up the news about the divorce. Uh, you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie! Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here! <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Ah! <sighs> well, now the 
Bye, Mom. I'm going to class. Wait. Let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on. It's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's even going to notice. I said no. You know what will happen if people see that mark. They'll start to ask questions. And all get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today, and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's gonna notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? <gasps> I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna Wait. happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please. Just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. <sighs> you must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. You just relax. Watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom? Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not Mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back. I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown! This must be from the royal family. <gasps> Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand massage. I will, but after. Right now I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I told you it's too dangerous. <sighs> no, Mom, I can protect myself because I just- Enough! Now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I, I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. <sighs> Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking the questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey, you went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm going to have to do the look. Huh, that uh, usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Oh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you Dollface, because you're cute. What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me. I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh! She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Here's your lunch. Thank you. What is this? Hurry now, you don't want to be late for school. Mom, you've kissed that many people? Excuse me? Gross. Hey, bestie. Hey. No way. You haven't had your first kiss yet? What are you talking about? I've definitely had my first kiss. Come on, it's me. You can tell me the truth. I am telling the truth. I've kissed like six guys. Okay. I believe you. I'm telling the truth. Hey, baby. Thanks. 
babe. Fifteen. Ooh. Well, as long as they were before he met me, I guess. Good morning, baby. I got you flowers. You're so sweet. Thank you. Anything for you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'll see you later, okay? Love you. Bestie, I really need to talk to you about something. You see, my boyfriend... No way. Bestie, you've had your first kiss? I already told you. I had my first kiss a long time ago. I've kissed tons of guys. Why do you keep lying to me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Isn't it? Hey, do you know where Brianna is? She's been avoiding me all day. No clue. Bestie, could you be honest with me for once? Did you kiss my boyfriend? Because I saw that your kiss count went up and his kiss count went up. First of all, how do you know our kiss counts? And no, I didn't kiss your boyfriend. I don't even like men. That's why I've been lying, saying I've kissed a bunch of guys. I was nervous about coming out and I didn't want to tell you this way. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to know who my boyfriend cheated on me with. Good morning, mom. I spy with my little eye my mom. Here, take your vision blocking glasses. I spy with my little eye these vision blocking glasses. Wear them as much as you can so you don't have to say I spy all the time. I barely take mine off. I spy with my little eye the ground. I spy with my little eye the bush. I spy with my little eye the bus. Class, can anyone tell me why the earth is flat? My eyes are so itchy. My glasses, where'd they go? Timmy, say I spy. I spy with... I spy with my little eye a beautiful girl named Brianna. Chad, is that you? Of course it's me. Take off your glasses so I can see your beautiful eyes. I... I don't know. It's not really safe. Come on, Brianna. I just want to see your eyes. You know you can trust me. Okay. Give me those. Take off your glasses so I can see your beautiful eyes. I don't know. It's not really safe. Come on, Brianna. I just want to see your eyes. You know you can trust me. Give me those. I spy with my little eye, Chad. Give me back my glasses. No way, I lost mine. Catch me if you can. I spy with my little eye, the wall. I spy with my little eye, Chad. I spy with my little eye, my vision blocking glasses. Hey, give them back. No, they're mine. And if you have your eyes open, you need to say I spy. I spy with my little... Chad? Chad? Attention everyone. For population control, you may no longer wear your vision blocking glasses or keep your eyes closed for an extended period of time. Anyone who breaks these rules will be killed. I spy with my little eye. Happy birthday. Ready to find out your sweetheart? What's a sweetheart? It's your soulmate. It's who you're gonna love forever. <gasps> Prince Licorice? What's wrong? Nothing, Lolly. We'll handle everything. Don't worry. Please, can I meet him? No, Lord Licorice is a very evil man, and I'm sure his son is no better. Exactly. But he's my sweetheart. Nope. The system must have made a mistake. Well, hello, my dear. Who are you? You don't know who I am? You really don't get out much, do you? My parents never let me leave the castle. I see. Well, I'm actually a friend of your father's, and I've brought you a gift. Is this taffy? Why, yes. This is my favorite. Try it. Good, isn't it? What's the matter? Mm. Too sticky? Sorry, princess, but I can't have you alerting the guards. I'm going to bring you to meet my son. Son, look who I've brought you. Is that? King Candy's daughter? Yes, indeed. Why are her hands tied? She's very feisty, but I'm sure she's happy to see you. Are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, she can't talk. I gave her the sticky taffy. Dad, there, now you're free. Drink this. It'll dissolve the taff. It'll take a few seconds to work. Thanks. I'll give you two some alone time. It's really nice to meet you, Lolly. My name is Prince Licorice, but you can call me Luke. Well, I want to go home, Luke. Please stay. I want to get to know you. No, your dad creeps me out, and I don't think I can trust you guys. Lolly, I'm not like my dad, I swear. No, I want to go home, and that's an order. Fine, as you wish. Listen, it's going to be a long journey for you. You're not going to escort me back? No way. My dad would freak. So I have to walk through Candyland all alone? Forget it. I don't need to. I can handle myself. 
Candyland is a very dangerous place, especially for a dainty princess like you. I am not dainty. Well, you sure are stubborn. Goodbye, Luke. Hey, we're supposed to be together. You're my sweetheart. Well, having me kidnapped wasn't very sweet. That wasn't my idea. Whatever. Just go. I don't even care anymore. Ugh. What is this stuff? Chocolate swamp? Uh-oh. Oh, this stuff is like quicksand. What do I do? Wait, I think my lollipop still has a little bit of magic in it, so maybe I can turn this into hard chocolate instead. <gasps> it's working. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I was just leaving, sir. Hey! What is this place? Princess? Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, here, have some cotton candy. Thank you. This is so good. Glad you like it. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Perfect. You should spend the night here. Okay. <laughs> the king is going to pay a lot of money to get you back. Here, have some more. Let her go. Prince Licorice, what are you doing here? I'm saving her from you. That's my sweetheart. Isn't he handsome? Hand her over or else you think I'm handsome? How could I not think you're handsome? Just look at how big your muscles are. <laughs> how much cotton candy did you have? A lot. I'm sorry, Prince Licorice. I didn't realize she was your sweetheart. Please don't tell your father I did this. We won't have a problem as long as you let us leave. Let's go, Lolly. Bye. How you doing? Better. I didn't realize that the cotton candy made you loopy. Listen, I'm sorry for getting mad at you. You really didn't do anything wrong. Nah, you're good. I'm sorry too. So you think I have big muscles, huh? Shut up. <laughs> we should start walking back. There she is! Seize him! Arrest him, now! Get off of me! He didn't do anything wrong. Get her to safety. Luke! Mom, Dad, you have to let him go. He was an accomplice to your kidnapping. Even though he's your sweetheart, he has to pay a price for that. No, he was the one that rescued me. What? He did. Yes, I've been trying to tell you. He was the one who saved me from the cotton candy fairy. Honey, we need to release him. Lord Licorice took my daughter. I say we keep his son. Dad, that isn't the way. She's right. Here, happy birthday, Brianna. Thank you. Are you okay? I'm feeling so weak. Oh no. Honey, come with me now. Here, put this charger in your charging port right there. I've been secretly charging you every day, but it's time that you know. Do not like the other kids. If you don't charge yourself and your battery's gone, you'll die. You must keep this a secret, because if the other kids find out, they'll treat you differently, okay? Okay. I'm all charged and ready for the day. Welcome to gym class. Today we're going to be running 100 laps. Oh no. I'm gonna lose all my battery. You're what? Nothing. Keep running! I, I can't. I'll be back, coach. I need more charge. What the? I need more charge. What the? What are you doing? What are you doing here? Why'd you follow me, you creep? Why is there a charger plugged into you? I run on battery. If I don't recharge myself, I'll die. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Oh no, I forgot to charge myself last night. It's okay, I'm already late. I'll have to charge myself at school. Hey, watch out! I'm so sorry, Derek. I'm just super late, so I was in a rush. It's no problem. Here, you dropped your bag. Thank you. Class, turn to page 69. I need to charge myself. Where is it? My charger is gone! Hey, Brianna, I know your secret. Derek told the whole school. Sweetie, is it time for school? Yes, I think so. Sweetie, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 8 a.m. It's time for school. Mmm, lunchtime. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 12 p.m. It's time for everybody to eat lunch. Except, Timmy. It's time for Timmy to be my lunch. No, oh, Mr. Wolf, please! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. 
Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for everyone to go home. It's time to go home. I'll see you tomorrow, bestie. Stay safe. You too. Mom, I'm home. I'm so hungry. Mom, is it time for dinner? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 5 p.m. It's time for me to have my dinner. <laughs> Mom! Sissy, where's Mommy? It's time for dinner. She's just sleeping. Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask... What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Who? Mr. Wolf! Mr. Wolf! Uh-oh. Looks like little Sissy ran out of time. It's time to be my no. meal. <laughs> Go away. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for school. You're late. I don't care. I'm not going. My mom and sister are gone. What? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for you to go to school. I told you I'm not going. It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine, I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. Why? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the... the Pirate King had? Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape Not in. so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William. Where are we? We're on Skull Island, princess. In the exact spot, we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. 
Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, your majesty. Quite all. I thought you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? 